Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to make some fudge. And we'll find out how sweet it is right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews. We do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it yeah so today on two crazy ketos we're gonna make some peanut butter fudge which i'm so excited about because i love fudge yeah rachel has been really busting me to like i need you to make this recipe yes i don't think you want me to make it so much to share it with everybody else no. it's just you want to eat the fudge um yes so if you know anything about making fudge though fudge can be a little difficult to make you need to have candy thermometers. Everything has to get to the right temperature. You have to add the sugar at the right exact time. You need a Joe. <laughs> so this recipe, though, is super, super easy to make. How easy is it? It is so easy that even Rachel can make it. Wow, are you serious? Fudge? Yeah, it's the, to make fudge, super easy. Even you can make it, and it only takes a few ingredients. All right. Are you ready to get into this? Yes. Okay. First thing we're going to need is a good pot that will hold some heat. So we're going to use a cast iron pot. Now I have this pot. This, we actually just got this pot. I bought it for ghee, but it really works well for making fudge. This is a Le Creuset. You don't have to use this brand or anything like that. I think the fudge is a more important thing for us to make. Well, <laughs> so what I like about it is it's got a frying pan as a lid as well. And uh, we're just going to turn this on and start getting this up the temperature because it is cast iron. So mm -hmm. it's going to take a little bit of time. Now, here's what we're going to need. Obviously, we're making peanut butter fudge. So we're going to need some peanut butter. If your peanut butter fudge doesn't have any peanut butter in it, there's probably something wrong or it's seriously overprocessed. Yes. Now, I got this one from BJ's. This is a really good brand. If I can have it for a minute. This is what the label looks like that we got from BJ's. And what I like about this, the ingredients organic dry roasted peanuts and sea salt which is basically what your peanut butter should contain yeah now as far as the servings and stuff there's 32 servings in here i think there's even 32 servings for rachel maybe but i just want a spoon and, and let's try it so a serving size is two tablespoons there's 16 grams of fat in this eight grams of protein five total carbohydrates three grams of dietary fiber so it's only two net carbs per serving which isn't bad which i really like so just make sure when you do buy, find like creamy peanut butter or natural peanut butter check the label make sure it doesn't have added sugar or added oils you don't want peanut butter that has added oil you don't need it peanut butter's got enough oil in as it. you can see when you stick a spoon in this it's like dripping oil yeah the biggest problem with having peanut butter that's natural like that is you do have to really stir it which i've already done with that Okay, next thing we're going to need, the second main ingredient, is butter. We like Kerrygold. And we're going to use a half of a stick. So this is the big block, or yeah. rather one stick. So this big block, it's a half a cup. Oh, okay. Okay. Then we're going to use some vanilla. Yay. Not, it's not a perfume. It is if I put it on like a perfume. We are going to use some heavy cream. Yes. We're going to use some stevia. And then the last ingredient we're going to use is we're going to use allulose. Um, if you don't have allulose, you can use erythritol. Just make sure you use the powdered one. Uh, you'll probably have to up the amount of erythritol a little bit, but I honestly haven't experimented with enough to give you the right sweetness to tell you the right amount that you need. Like the exact. Yeah. So that's what we're going to need. So are you ready to go? I'm totally ready. So like I said, bring your pan up to heat and we're going to go ahead and put your butter in there and you got to melt your butter. Oh yeah, it's hot. Yeah, of course it is. It's on a hot plate. Yeah, but it's funny to me that it goes all the way through this pan. <laughs> the whole thing. The whole thing. Again, one stick, half a cup. These sticks from Kerrygold are like, oh, I'm just putting the wrapper in there, everything. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to give you this. And what we need to do is just get this butter to melt down. Okay. Okay, so once our butter is nice and melted, we can actually start turning the heat off because we're using a cast iron. It's going to retain some heat. Okay. And we're going to add to that 
a half a cup of peanut butter, which I've already measured out. Here I have a smaller measuring spoon. I'll, if you want to hold that and start stirring mm -hmm. while I pour this in. And watch how that peanut butter consistency is just like super loose. Okay, so this could just be soup for me. <laughs> I love peanut butter and butter. This is something nice to take with you if you're going to some potlucks for the holidays. Okay, once you have that all mixed, we're gonna add to this two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. Okay. You're gonna go about uh, a half a teaspoon of vanilla. You kind of got to do this quick. You don't want to be letting this overcook. You okay. got to be constantly stirred. Okay. How much stevia? And then a half a teaspoon of stevia. It's going to be 30 to 40 drops. You keep stirring it. Okay. We're actually going to go ahead and take this off of the hot plate. Okay, and finally, we're going to add two tablespoons of allulose. Just keep stirring. Just keep stirring. Do you think that's how Dory cooks? <laughs> okay, so once you have everything fully incorporated, it's time to pour it into our mold. So let me grab the mold. Now, you can just use like fat ball molds like we usually do, but yeah. I found for the fudge, this works incredible. It's just simply an ice cube tray with silicone bottoms. And the reason I like it is it gives me the exact amount I want. And then when you want to take it out, you just kind of push the bottom and everything comes out. The reason why I like them is because they look like little presents for the holidays. Okay, so this pan is really hot. And the other thing that I really like about this is watch how easy this is going to be. You ready? Just like when you fill up your ice cubes, just kind of pour it over. Oh, you don't have to be perfect. I don't have to be perfect. Now this recipe will make exactly 12 of them because when we clean out this bottom of the pot, watch this. What? I mean, you talk about you're not going to have to measure anything. Full ice tray. Now we're just going to kind of. Oh, I love it. You have a couple that are just kind of low, so you just kind of dip your spoon in. Well, I splashed a little bit of peanut butter while I was stirring it. Yeah, that's okay. But we're not going to eat it like this. No. They're too wet. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. So now we're going to, this is going to go into the freezer for about two hours and then we'll put it into the refrigerator to let it set even more. Awesome. Okay. It's been about two hours and this is what we have. I know it doesn't look like much, No. but I promise you it's going to taste really good. Yes. So here's why I like doing it in the ice cube tray. Cause first of all, obviously everything is the same. We know exactly what we're getting. We have 12 pieces, but now we can just kind of put it over our plate and look at us. There's no cutting it. You don't have to worry about the knife. You don't have to Portion worry sizes. about Rachel getting a piece that's twice the size of Joe's. Shoot. <laughs> we can just pile this up. And like I said, it looks really cute if you just put a little parchment around it, tie a bow. Well, that's why I'm going to show you. Look at this. Watch this. So that's what we got. Take a look at that. You want to try one or are you not going to eat one tonight? Oh no, I definitely want one. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. So this is what it looks like. I'll just show you an up close piece here. Nice little piece of fudge. Yep. Okay, ready? Mmm. Wow. That is delicious. <laughs> Perfect. 
It's got the perfect peanut thing. It does. But the butter, the creaminess. I find that with the allulose, you don't need a whole lot. Now you can obviously, if you want it really sweet, you can add some more. But we're always trying to keep the total carbs kind of down and keeping away from the sugar alcohols as much as possible. Yeah, but I'm a sweet tooth person and this is nice and sweet. Mm -hmm. Like, this is sweet. Mmm. That is good. Okay. I'm going to put that over there. Let me save it. This one's mine. They're both mine. Oh. Okay. So let's go over the nutrition on this. Okay. So if you take this and you put it into like your ice cube trays or some other fat ball mold and break it down into 12 pieces, All right. it's going to be 143 calories for each one of these little cubes. Which is super satisfying, honestly. Yeah, they are very, very filling. And dense. And dense. Uh, it's going to be 14 total grams of fat, mm -hmm. 3 grams of protein. Because peanuts. Peanuts, right. Uh, you're going to have 5.4 total carbs. One gram of dietary fiber, and then it's three grams of allulose, which you can subtract off. So what is it, like one and a half net carbs? Yeah, 1.4 net carbs per piece. I think that's pretty good, especially when you consider it's nuts. There's nuts in there. Right. Now, again, I'm only using two tablespoons of allulose. If you want to make it sweeter, like I said, you can just add some more allulose. That'll give you the higher sweetness, but it also is adding more total carbs. I would definitely try it like this first because I think you're going to be surprised at how sweet it is. Yeah. Now, this is a room temperature stable. So if you put this and just leave this on the counter, it is going to stay just like this. It's not going to melt into a glob. But it gets sweaty, like fudge gets sweaty. Right. So what we do is we make up a batch and then we just stick it in the refrigerator. And this way you don't have to worry about it melting or getting to the point where like when you grab it, it's just this big gooey mess. You do have to worry about your children eating it before you can get to it. So I do recommend hiding the fudge behind something else in the refrigerator. Are we hiding the fudge from the children or are we hiding it from Rachel? I'm basically hiding it from everybody but Rachel. Oh, I got it. So That's the plan. <laughs> okay, well, the recipe for this peanut butter fudge is going to be linked down in the description. Oh, by the way, something else you can do if you want to just take this up to the next level, take some Lily's chocolate chips. Mix it with just a little bit of coconut oil uh, and drizzle it along the top. Oh, now you got chocolate peanut butter. Now you got chocolate peanut butter. Oh, yeah. You could even take it and kind of swirl it in if you want to make like a big log of fudge or something I like just want that. to take all of them and make it into a little heart for Rachel. <laughs> So like I said, the recipe for this is linked down in the description. Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. That way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.